Set up strong VPN Open VPN on Sabi Router OS 5 and 6. This page describes the manual setup of the Open VPN connection on Sabi Router. This setup requires you to upload the config file manually. This kind of setup can cause some inconvenience, for example if you need to use some streaming services such as ABC and Hulu, the DNS settings of the router need to be updated manually as well. To make this setup more easy Strong VPN created the installer script, which is recommended to use instead of the setup. You can find the installer script inside the customer area, use this link to log in there, VPN account summary get installers sab iOS. But if you have been directed to this page by some of our agents that means you need to follow all the steps that are listed below. Default information, default router IP address, 192.168.199.1 username, admin password, Saba Pass 123 Wi-Fi 2.4 GHz network name, SSID Sabi 24 Wi-Fi 5 GHz network name, SSID Sabi 58 Wi-Fi password, Saba Pass 123 Please note, if you do not see the Sabi 58 network it means that your Sabi router either doesn't support the 5.8 GHz band, for example, Asus RTN10P, Linksys E2500 and Netgear WNR3500L do not support it, or the receiving device, computer, phone, tablet etc., has no 5.8 GHz? Wireless support. In this case, use the Sabi24 network. 1. Connect. To the Sabi router via an Ethernet cable or wirelessly. Please, make sure you connect the VPN router from its WAN, Internet port, to a LAN port of the existing local router, this can be your ISP's modem or another router, which sends live Internet to the VPN router. The computer should be cabled to a LAN port of the VPN router or connected to Sabi24 or Sabi58 network. 2. Open up your web browser, type in 192.168.199.1 in the address bar and hit enter. It will prompt you to enter the username slash password. The default values are, admin, username, and sabapass123, password. 3. Once you log in, expand the menu network on the top left hand side. Select open VPN. 4. Download your config file from customer area to your computer, check this tutorial to see where to get this file. Click the Choose File button on the Open VPN page and select the .open file. Once you've selected the file, it will process it for a few seconds then all of the buttons such as Start, Stop and Erase will become available. You can then click Start to start up the VPN connection. 5. Verify the VPN connected. The VPN status will appear at the upper right of the SAB iOS interface. A successful Open VPN connection will display the line VPN is up via Open VPN at the top right corner of the interface. The IP and location on the picture below are just an example. Please note, if you still can't use streaming services such as ABC and Hulu, you need to additionally perform the DNS change. Changing Wi-Fi settings your router is preset with the default credentials as they show on top of this guide. However, if you would like to change the Wi-Fi network name, also called SSID, or the Wi-Fi password you can do so by going to basic under the network menu. Change SSID name to anything you wish to use as Wi-Fi name. Change shared key password to anything you wish to use as Wi-Fi password. Click save at the bottom of the page to apply the changes. Changing admin access credentials you may also want to change your admin login and password for the security reasons. To do that, 1. Go to advanced tab, then administration tab and then admin access tab. 2. Change username and password values to any other which you want to use as username and password for admin access. 3. Click save at the bottom of the page to apply the changes. Changing the DNS settings to be able to use streaming services such as ABC and Hulu you need to change the DNS settings for the router. 1. First you need to find the DNS server addresses for the certain VPN server. Go to network, then open VPN. 2. Click show log button. 3. In the appeared log you need to find the line containing the word push underscore reply, you can use control plus F keyboard shortcut to find. There you can see primary and secondary DNS addresses, see the example below. Wednesday October 7, 725 and 15 seconds 2015 US equals 99913 push, received control message, push underscore reply ping 1 ping restart 60 root delay 2 root metric 1 DHCP option DNS 127.0.1.1 DHCP option. DNS 127.0.2.1 root 127.0.0.1 topology net 30 if config 127.0.0.6127.0.0.5. The DNS server addresses are next to DHCP option DNS, do not use the 127.0.1.1 and 127.0.2.1 addresses, there are just examples. 4. After that go to network basic and in the LAN block put first and second DNS server addresses in the static DNS fields. Leave the third field unchanged. 5. Click save button. 6. Then click on reboot. 
Option in the left hand menu and confirm the reboot of the device. All done. Connecting the OpenVPN on Sabi 5 firmware go to Network tab and then OpenVPN. Click the Start button. Disconnecting the OpenVPN on Sabi 5 firmware go to Network tab and then OpenVPN. Click the Stop button. Changing the OpenVPN settings if your OpenVPN account configuration is changed, that includes any option, port, protocol, MTU, encryption, compression, or the VPN server is changed, the connection will stop working on the router, since the credentials on your NR side don't match. To fix that problem you need to download your up-to-date config file from customer area to your computer, check this tutorial. Then go to Network tab and then open VPN. Click the Stop and then Erase button. Click the Choose File button and select the new dot .open. Config file from your computer. Once you've selected the file, it will process it for a few seconds then all of the buttons such as Start, Stop, and Erase will become available again. Click Start button. Removing the OpenVPN settings If you need to delete the OpenVPN settings from Sabi router please do the following. Go to Network tab and then open VPN. Click the stop button to disconnect the VPN if it is connected. Click erase button to remove the config.